Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we've got a quick one today, a review of a Raspberry Pi 4 case that I bought for an upcoming project. This is the Flerk case. It is all metal, and it's designed to work only with the Raspberry Pi 4. And as you can see, I've got mine installed in here. Now, before we get into this quick review, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this case is all about. Now, this is a passively cooled case, and it's got a unique heat sink design that will come in contact with the main processor of the Raspberry Pi. They do give you a thermal pad in the box to attach to the top of your Raspberry Pi's processor, as I have there. And then uh, you just have to insert the Pi into the case. It's actually really easy to get it installed. Uh, what I did is I just uh, kind of angled the HDMI ports inward, and then the whole thing just kind of came together. And then there is a plastic component that you just screw in and you're all done. It takes all of maybe five minutes, if that, to get it installed. And I found that all of my Raspberry Pi 4's ports aligned perfectly here. So you can see my two HDMI, the USB-C power, and the headphone jack all perfect there, along with the USB ports and the Ethernet there. Uh, so there's no extra cables to run or breakout cables that you have to install. My only gripe, though, is that if you are looking to do a lot with the GPIO pins, this will be difficult to work with. They did give you some room to run wires or something out of uh, the bottom of the case, but you'll have to take it apart every time you want to attach something, although I think there are breakout connectors for the GPIO. But still, I think this is not going to be well-suited for folks looking to access those ports. But if you're just looking for a case to run your Raspberry Pi as a personal computer or some kind of mini server or something, I think this case will do quite well. And of course, your uh, SD card is accessible here on the bottom. I didn't notice any issues with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signal strength, surprisingly. It is a metal case, and I thought that might impact things a bit, but it seemed to work just as well as it does in one of my plastic cases that I was using with it before. It does get warm to the touch when it's operating, but that's by design because the entire case here is a heat sink. I think if you are looking to overclock, it should be able to help you accommodate that. But I think an actively cooled case will probably be a little better for that. Uh, so this would be something I would recommend for you know casual users of the Raspberry Pi or people looking to set up a silent headless server or something. But if you're doing some heavy duty gaming or uh, doing something that needs to get at those GPIO pins, I would probably opt for something that is a little more robust than this. But from a minimalist perspective, Super easy to get going, very affordable, and a really nice design that functions as a large heatsink as well, and something that I would be comfortable recommending if you don't need to get access to those GPIO ports. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Jim Tannis and Tom Albrecht, Hot Sauce and Video Games, and Eric's Variety Channel. Brian Parker and Frank Goldman. Amda Brown and Matt Zagaya. And Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.